The Dodo bird is a miracle, at least in the case of evolution. Four million years ago, a group of Asian pigeons occupied the small African island of Mauritius, where they began to evolve into a giant, flightless, one meter tall bird weighing over 20 kilograms. In popular culture, the unique bird is often called dump, portraying the Dodo as an evolutionary mistake. However, that's not true. For many years you've been lied about the dodo's extinction, and here is why. If adapting to the environment and living conditions means dumbness, well, I guess we all are dumb. The dodo bird was native to the remote island of Mauritius, located far away from many serious land masses. That evolutionary miracle which turned pigeons into the dodo could happen only here, as the island was free of any predators and animals that could threaten the dodo's thriving. Due to the unlimited food and resources and lack of predators, they grew much larger than their continental relatives. This phenomenon is called island gigantism, and it affects different animals on different sides of our planet. The dodo is an amazing example of adaptation to the island's circumstances. This bird is an evolutionary success. In other words, the dodo became a victim of an easy life. They found the perfect place to live with an unlimited food supply, so they didn't need to search for a perfect place to live anymore and simultaneously there were no more predators in the surrounding area to escape from. It affected the most important part of any creature's life, the survival instinct. In wild nature the birds either fight with the enemy or fly away from it. The dodo lived for so long in that tropical paradise that this important instinct was lost forever. When European sailors encountered the dodo, they were shocked to find that it didn't try either to escape or defend itself, making it an uneasy target for violence. Yet, evolution made them a perfect survival in a peaceful environment and well adapted to climatic instability. As Mauritius is affected by cyclones and drought, which are common in that area, they had strong legs to climb the island's mountains, big skulls with huge claw-like beaks to better consume fruits and nuts, and well-developed smells to find them. We've seen similar evolution for so many times. The body becomes bulky, wings become vestigial and flight becomes unnecessary. Ostrich, moa and elephant bird. Everyone experienced the same transformation as the dodo did. However, the thriving period couldn't last long as European colonizers discovered the island of Mauritius. The first sighting of the dodo was in 1558 and they were described as fat, slow and silly birds. That contact was the beginning of the end. The Europeans brought with them not just uncontrolled extermination, they brought something worse. They brought foreign animals. Cats, rats, dogs, monkeys and pigs. All of them were brought to the island in 1638 with the Dutch settling on the island, and in 1662 the lonely dodo was seen for the last time in human history. In 24 years the whole population of the dodo became extinct, and there are a few reasons why this happened. Repopulation was one of them. The dodo laid only one large egg on the ground instead of creating a nest in a tree, because previously there was no need for that, there was no need to defend the eggs, as no one was interested in them. The instinct to defend the nest and the eggs was lost forever. While people and some animals were killing the dodos, rats and pigs were eating their eggs which has dramatically decreased their population. The dodos weren't just ready for all of that. There wasn't enough space to live for all the creatures as the size of Mauritius is two times smaller than Rhode Island in the United States. A lot of the island's native birds went extinct simultaneously with the dodo, as the Virgin Tropical Paradise was gone forever. 